Welcome to Legends and Leaders, Biographies Everyone Should Know, narrated and conceptualized by Miss Renu. Learning about influential figures is very critical as we live in a world which has been impacted by their contributions. Without their struggles, without their triumphs, we would not be where we are. These short podcast stories simply serve as a reminder that greatness comes not just from fame, but from perseverance, vision, and the courage to make a difference. Be sure to listen to all the amazing people we talk about. You will be inspired. Today we will celebrate the journey of a pioneer marine biologist and environmentalist best known for her groundbreaking book, Silent Spring in 1962. We're going to learn about Rachel Carson. In her books, she told people to care for the earth. When Rachel Carson was a young girl in Springdale, Pennsylvania, she liked to read and write. At the age of 10, she sold a story she had written to a magazine for $10. Rachel was very interested in plants and animals. She studied these subjects in college and afterwards in graduate school. Because Rachel did so well, she received scholarships to pay for her studies. When she was finished, she had to choose what she wanted to be, a writer or a scientist. And guess what? Rachel Carson decided to be both. She wrote about plants and animals for the United States Fish and Wildlife Service. She published several books about nature. One of her books called In the Sea Around Us, it helped people learn about the ocean. Many people bought that book. Her last book was Silent Spring, published in 1962. In it, Rachel Carson warned people not to spray pesticide or bug killers on the earth. These pesticides, such as DDT, were supposed to kill only harmful insects. Instead, they were killing the helpful insects as well as birds and fish. Rachel warned that some animals might become extinct because of this DDT. Extinct means that the animals would no longer exist. She said pesticides could harm humans too. Her book, Silent Spring, changed the way people thought about nature. Most people had not worried about the air and water before. Now they began to feel responsible for keeping the environment clean and healthy. They began to take action too. For example, lawmakers passed a law saying that DDT could no longer be used. Rachel Carson's choice to write about animals and plants made the world a better place for all living things. Rachel educated us on the importance of saving plants and animals and taking care of this earth. Maybe we can pioneer some books too to educate people on saving the planet. This was just a short podcast on her success and one can celebrate more by learning more about her. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Now let's move on to the next celebration.